Hello, my name is Father Scott Donahue, and I have the privilege of being the president here at Mercy Home for Boys and Girls. Thank you for allowing me into your home. Now let me return the favor and show you our home. Mercy Home for Boys and Girls. See for yourself just how your friendship and support helps change the lives of some truly deserving young men and women. It's incredible to think that we got our start way back then in 1887 in a few small rented rooms just over there in downtown Chicago. Back then, a group of priests, my predecessors, came together to find an emergency solution to an out of control problem of homeless boys. Today, we provide full-time care for 134 young men and young women at two separate locations. A home for boys here on Chicago's near west side and a home for girls on the city's far south side. We also opened an affordable housing community for our former residents to help them make that critical transition into independent living. In addition to the full-time residential care that we provide, our aftercare, referral, and mentoring services allow us to help hundreds more children and their families each year. This is the oldest part of our home. It's where our young men live full-time. Come on, walk with me through the old oak door. Each day starts with a nutritious meal. Most days our children eat breakfast and dinner with one another. Lunch too when school is out. Our dining facilities also provide many of our youth with their first work experience, critical in securing their first after school or summer jobs outside of the home. On many occasions, our young people will work together in smaller groups to prepare and share meals as a community. After breakfast, it's time to head to school. Each day, our dedicated youth care workers drive our children to and from over 50 schools across the Chicagoland area. And just like any of their classmates, you may find our kids playing on their school sports teams or working in after-school jobs. Supporting all their hard work in school and in part-time, after-school, and summer jobs are the co-workers on our education department known as the Academy. Preparing children for success after Mercy Home has been at the core of our tradition since 1887. And so we have invested heavily in education in recent years. Nothing is as important in changing the lives and securing the future of young people like ours. Kids who come to us so far behind their peers in school. We have a great tutoring program where they work with individual tutors four nights a week focusing on their homework and also some of those core skills that our youth really need to build up around math and reading. We also have college and career planning. So with post-secondary options, which is my role, I help the youth figure out what type of education they want after high school. Going on college visits, bringing speakers into Mercy Home as a way to help them think about kind of what's next. Our education and career staff create a plan for each young person to help them discover their passions and abilities, and then works with them to help them reach their goals. That not only helps them become more self-reliant, it helps them therapeutically as well. When they feel confident that they can be successful, they begin to improve in other areas of their lives, like their relationships with others, the choices that they make, and so much more. I am sitting here in this beautiful chapel at our girls campus here at Mercy Home. The chapel was built by the Seneca sisters before it became a part of our campus back in 1987. You know, for over 30 years, I've had the privilege of being a Catholic priest. And part of my responsibility is to bring hope and spiritual encouragement to others, especially to the children here at Mercy Home. Because of you, we are able to bring light, light and hope to the children entrusted to our care here. These children have come from some very dark moments in life. When they come into this quiet place to reflect upon their lives, or when they gather together for the many spiritual celebrations that we hold throughout the year, I think that this beautiful artwork has a real message for all of our girls and boys. 
the way it draws gently the light from above. They see these women in the stained glass sharing their gifts, bringing light into the darkest places of the world, just as the sisters who came before us did, just as you do through your friendship. And back at our boys' home, we have two chapels that serve as places of spiritual nourishment for our youth and for our co-workers alike that provide a quiet, reflective oasis amid the hustle and bustle of the city. And right in the heart of one of the country's biggest cities, you can find this peaceful oasis, which is the garden at the boys' home. And we have a similar garden at our girls' home, where some of our young people can learn about how to grow healthy vegetables, which we serve fresh in our cafeterias. There are a lot of ways we help our young people grow as well. We make sure that they have the opportunities to build healthy minds and bodies, to express themselves, to discover and develop their talents, and just to enjoy being children. We have basketball courts, fully equipped exercise rooms, music rooms, programs that focus on the arts, and opportunities to give back to the community by serving others. Of course, the core of our program happens in the small communities in which they live. Here, they receive group and individual counseling to help them understand the pain and the hurt of their past. Within the structured, stable, and supportive home environment we provide, they also learn about the strengths that lie within them, gifts that no one can ever take away, and that will help them thrive going forward when we show them how. They oftentimes will participate in group therapy or in program meetings to discuss any issues that have come up within the week with each other or with staff. We think that teaching healthy communication styles is an important part of our treatment. After meetings, they go right into doing chores to clean up their room and also the environment around them. Kind of keeping a healthy, clean environment is going to allow for the best treatment here. After these meetings and chores, there's still individual therapy and family therapy that takes place. And all this before they get to bed at 9.30 to get a good night's sleep. Welcome to our Mother's Walk at our girls' campus. It's a place where we honor folks like you. People who provide support that offer the children entrusted to our care hope and a safe home. Because of you, we're able to give our children a bright future. If you're ever in the Chicagoland area, please consider visiting our home. Or if you'd like to know more about Mercy Home, simply go to our website, mercyhome.org. Once again, mercyhome.org. And may God bless you for all that you do for the children here at Mercy Home.